We want to talk to you today about one of the most important, one of the most powerful, and possibly one of the most misunderstood aspects of marriage, and it's this aspect of forgiveness. You know, a lot of the messages we get on social media, or some people will write into the Naked Marriage podcast, and they'll say things like, how do I forgive my spouse? You know, he or she just has done something to, to hurt me. They, they committed this big sin that I can't get past, or maybe it's an ongoing thing that I'm having a hard time forgiving. How do I forgive? How do I move forward from this? It is so hard. And I think a lot of times when people say, I can't forgive my spouse, or I'm having a hard time forgiving my spouse, what they really mean is they're having a hard time trusting their spouse because trust has been broken. And forgiveness and trust are two very different things. You know, forgiveness is something that can only be given freely. And, and God, you know, He forgave us first. And so because God has forgiven us, we too should forgive others. But trust is something totally different. Trust is something that has to be earned. And so when your spouse has broken your trust, by you forgiving them, it gives them the chance to re-earn your trust. But you first have to forgive. And forgiving means not saying like, oh, what you did, didn't, it didn't matter to me or it didn't hurt me as much, so I'm just gonna you know, give you a pass. That's not at all what forgiveness means. Forgiveness is saying, I'm trusting God to deal with your heart and I'm giving you the chance to re-earn my trust. Yeah, and we've gotta do that for each other because God has done that for us. Yeah, Like every single one of us has needed forgiveness in our life. Every single one of us. The Bible says, for all have fallen sin, have fallen short of the glory of God. Yes. Like we've all blown it. Like we all have a death sentence hanging over us until we put our hope and faith in Jesus Christ as the forgiver of our sins. And he offers that gift freely. In fact, he gave his life on the cross to make that forgiveness possible. He took the penalty on himself. And so really we no longer have the right to hold a grudge because yeah. we've been forgiven of so much. And when we do hold a grudge, we really only hurt ourselves. It was St. Augustine almost 2000 years ago who said holding a grudge is like drinking poison and then hoping the other person dies. Yeah. So when you're holding onto a grudge, you're not only poisoning your marriage, you're actually hurting yourself. Right. And so you need to be willing to let go. Now letting go does not mean enabling mm -mm. ongoing unhealthy behavior. It doesn't mean that what your spouse did doesn't matter or that it doesn't hurt. What it does mean is looking at your spouse and saying, because I love you, I'm choosing to pursue healing instead of revenge in this relationship. Yes. I'm choosing actively to let go of this so that my heart and my hands are open for all the good that God has for both of us so that we can move forward together. Right. But at the same time, I need you to know that what you did hurt me and it can't continue and it can't go on. If there's any hope of our relationship being fully restored and continuing, then I need from you what the Bible calls repentance, which means turning away right. from that, that sin that you did and saying, I wanna actively rebuild trust. And so when, you've, when you, you're the one who's blown it in the relationship, just saying I'm sorry isn't a whole apology. A real apology means completely accepting responsibility for what you've done not saying I'm sorry, but, and then making all these excuses, completely accepting responsibility, actively working to rebuild trust, immediately changing whatever behavior that it was, and then consistently, consistently showing a new behavior. The only way to build and keep trust in any relationship is consistency. Yes. You can't build trust based on what you promise to do. You can only build trust based on what you do day in and day out. And as, as Pastor Jimmy Evans has said, trust is, is built in drops, but it's lost in buckets. So we build it in drop, one little act at a time of consistency, right. but man, one big sin and we can dump that whole bucket over. But in marriage, even when a whole bucket of trust has been dumped out, because of the grace God's shown us, because of our commitment to each other, we need to actively, patiently, one drop at a time, allow space and grace for that trust to be rebuilt. It's so true, sweetie. And you know, when, you're, when your spouse has really hurt you and you've chosen to forgive them, human nature really tells us you need to pick back, that back up and not forgive them anymore. You need to hold on to that thing and hold it against them. But with God's help, we can release this to Him, but it takes us doing it daily. So you might wake up, you know, one day you're forgiving your spouse. You're like, okay, we're gonna get through this. I'm gonna help my spouse through this. You know, I'm gonna help my spouse get the help that they need and we're gonna move forward. And then the next morning, you may not feel like forgiving them again because feelings can be all over the place. And you need to allow yourself to feel those things, but you can't look to your feelings to be your compass. You can't look to your feelings to be your guide. You have to look to the Lord and you have to ask God, say, God, help me to, to forgive my spouse again. And I'm telling you, when they've really, really totally broken your trust 
and you're not totally sure of the way forward, you've got to lay it down every single day and you have to choose and be very intentional about choosing to forgive them every day. And I think sometimes too, we have to speak out that forgiveness and we have to speak out that hope we have in the Lord and, and go to our spouse and say, listen, you did really hurt me, but I know we're gonna get through this because God's gonna get us through this. I know that you're not defined by this sin that you did, by this thing that you did against me. I know that God can wash us clean. I know that God has good plans for us. And I think when you speak about those things and your trust that you have in the Lord, you will see your trust begin to build in your spouse and your spouse, they're gonna feel that you're willing to trust them again. And just knowing that you're there in the corner and you're not pointing fingers at them, they're gonna wanna work harder to build that trust. And so it, it's just this, this whole cycle that we've got to, to make sure that we're doing those things and moving forward together instead of holding the grudge and, and really essentially holding holding ourselves back from the peace and the joy that God wants us to have in our marriage. That's right. We talk in a lot more detail about what forgiveness and trust really mean and what it looks like on our Naked Marriage podcast yes. and also in a variety of videos and articles that you can find for free at xomarriage.com. Mm -hmm.